Okay, so welcome back. Now, one of the challenges in writing software is, as you probably know if you've written any software before, you need to be aware of the minute details involved in everything you do in software. You can't assume you have to know what the data is that you're working with. And that's the case when, for example, you are communicating with other devices over Ethernet or USB or Wi-Fi. And also when you are reading and writing files, you need to be very, very aware of what are the characters in that data stream. And you need to also be aware of what are called control characters, which are generally invisible characters that are included in your file that tell the devices at either end what to do and how to format things. So that can be a bit of a challenge. And one of the, the bigger challenges is a lot of people will kind of assume they know the answer to what the control characters are and not really take a look to see what they actually are and then get in trouble because their assumptions were incorrect. So what we're going to do in this video is show you a very nice piece of software that's free that you can download. You may already be using, but you may not know that it's got a feature that can make it very, very easy for you to actually see the invisible control characters in a file so that you know exactly if you have to parse that file, exactly what characters there are you, that you need to deal with. So here we're going to take an example. We've got a text file, a CSV or comma separated value file. If you don't know what that is, we've got videos talking about that. And this particular file is the result of us monitoring the performance of our GPU, our graphics processor unit using a piece of software called GPU-Z, which sends out a log file, a CSV formatted log file. As you can see here, this got a header and it's got every one second, it takes a reading of our GPU temperature, GPU load, and whatever else you want to uh, measure from the sensors. Again, you can look at our videos on that subject and it will save in this text file the date, the time, and in a comma separated format, it will give us the temperature and then the GPU load in percent. Now, when you are, for example, reading this into your software, you need to, as you know, you need to parse it. And if you're going to parse it, you need to be aware of not only the visible characters, you can see all these date and time characters and then these decimal characters and the GPU load is a integer. But you can see there's a bunch of other characters here that look like, for example, here looks like a bunch of spaces and another space and some spaces up here. Um, but really, you might think, well, there's only some spaces here. Not a big deal. Well, in fact, it is a big deal. And you need to be aware because if you try to parse some of these values, it may not work. So one of the features in Notepad++ now, if you don't have Notepad++, I encourage you to search and download it. It's a wonderful piece of software that's free that allows you, it's, it's kind of like a Notepad in Windows, but it's got a lot more functionality. It's got a huge amount of functionality, and we may talk about it in detail in a future video, but I encourage you to take a look at it. It's really wonderful, especially if you're doing any software development. You may be thinking in this file here that's just a bunch of spaces and some commas, and that's about it. Well, in fact, there are a bunch of what are called control characters that you need to be aware of. So one of the features of Notepad++ is that you can actually look at the hidden control characters in your file. To do that, you go up here to the View menu, click on that, and go down to show symbol. And here you've got a list of different characters that you can show. I'm gonna select show all characters. And you can see suddenly it's populated with the CRLF characters. And in here you can see some dots and here's some right hand arrows. These are the hidden control characters in your file. And there can be a bunch of other types of control characters. But these are the characters that you need to be aware of if you're going to be parsing this file so that you know what the characters are and how you can handle them. Now, at the far right, you can see a CRLF, which is a carriage return and line feed end of line character. Now, we did another video explaining in detail. Very, very important set of control characters you need to be aware of. 
and this is used everywhere as a uh, end of line character. We explain what that is. I encourage you to look at that previous video. But now that you can see the invisible control characters, you can know what they are and how to deal with them. So for example, each of these dots is a space character, like hitting the space bar. The arrows are a tab character. So you can see it's got one, two, three, four tab characters. So if you're gonna be parsing this, you need to be aware that there are tab characters here and then space characters here. So if you're going to, for example, parse this header, you need to get rid of all these space characters to get this date title and same thing with the rest of these. So now let's say you also want to look at some visible characters and figure out, you know, what are the hex codes, what are the ANSI codes. Uh, so for example, we've got this degrees symbol here and you may need to figure out what the associated codes are. So there's a nice feature in Notepad++ where I can go to the edit menu over here and go down near the bottom and there is a selection called character panel. And you can see over here on the right there is an ASCII code insertion panel. And what that will allow you to do is insert characters but it will also give you for a character what is the value, the ANSI value, the hex code, and the associated character and some HTML stuff. Now also I'd encourage you if you're interested in being able to easily convert between ANSI and hex codes and so on uh, that you download an available plugin called NPP Convert and I've got it installed here but if you go into Notepad++ and the plugins it should be available uh, and this is ASCII to hex converter author Don Ho uh, you can get it from GitHub, or you can get it here. And NPP Converter, if you install that, it's a very nice way to, you go up to your plugins, and there is a converter that you can select some text, go to ASCII to HEX, or HEX to ASCII. And there's also a more detailed conversion panel where you can enter either an ASCII character, or a decimal, or hexadecimal, and it will convert to all the other formats and then you can insert that into your text. So really nice way to, without having to go online and looking up uh, ASCII character lists, you can have it all right here in Notepad++. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.